Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? Do you feel as if nobody truly understands you? Do you feel empty, lost, hopeless or worthless? Does your anxiety stop you from doing things you want to do in your life? Are you depressed and don't know who to turn to for help or guidance? Are you currently struggling with your mental health? You never have to feel alone again. We understand you. We feel exactly like you do and we are here to support you. Share your story, connect with like-minded people, learn more about mental illnesses and how you can improve your mental health. Together, we can make a difference and together, we can reduce the stigma. Welcome to Authentic Mental Health. If you live with anxiety, you will know there are some unwanted and embarrassing symptoms you have to deal with, such as cancelling plans with your friends at the last minute. But because you do this so often, they've now stopped asking you to hang out, speaking so quickly that it's difficult for others to understand you, or feeling extremely nauseous that you have to run to the bathroom every five minutes minutes. No matter what unwanted or embarrassing symptoms of anxiety you personally experience, I want to let you know that you are not alone here experiencing them. The only way we can break the stigma attached to anxiety and the symptoms of anxiety is by talking about them, opening up about them and explaining what they are like to experience. Here are 15 embarrassing symptoms of anxiety nobody talks about. At the end of the video, I want you to comment which symptoms you can personally relate to and let's show others here that they are not alone. Number one, excessive sweating. You could be outside in the freezing cold, but you randomly start sweating for no apparent reason whatsoever. Your heart rate is rising because your anxiety levels are rising. And because of this, you start to sweat even more. Then because you're sweating even more than before, you start to get even more anxious. It's a vicious cycle. And within a few minutes, you're absolutely drenched with sweat. And you've now started to worry because you think other people can see it or even smell it. Number two, nausea and vomiting. My anxiety makes me vomit. Whenever I'm anxious, I feel like I can't speak, let alone breathe, which causes me to constantly run to the bathroom and vomit. I know, it sounds disgusting, doesn't it? Believe me, it's not nice to experience. Number three, compulsive skin picking. Some people pull the skin off their fingers. Others pick their scabs, spots, or even nails until they start to bleed. People around you may notice and tell you to stop, but it's never that simple. Number four, being unable to leave your own house. Sometimes you can't leave your own house because you simply can't face it. Your anxiety is on overdrive and it's just too overwhelming to leave. Because of this, you have to cancel your plans and make up an excuse such as, I don't feel good at all. Number five, crying a lot. You take everything personally, which causes you to cry. You read a comment on social media and take it personally, even though it has nothing at all to do with you. You think and feel like everybody in the world is constantly judging you and nothing you do is ever good enough, which makes you feel so overwhelmed that you just start bursting into tears. Number six, stuttering. Sometimes people with anxiety stutter. They just simply can't get their words out. Their mind goes completely blank and they just start stuttering, which sometimes can be extremely embarrassing. Number seven, stomach problems. Some people with anxiety develop IBS symptoms, which causes them to run to the bathroom a lot or fart at inappropriate moments. Believe me, this is extremely embarrassing. Number eight, talking too fast. 
Some people who have anxiety talk extremely quick. They don't mean to, it just happens. And sometimes they just ramble on and on and on about anything and everything. Number nine, lashing out in anger. People with anxiety tend to overthink and panic about things that they don't necessarily need to. Sometimes this can cause people with anxiety to seem angry or irritated as they might start freaking out and snapping at people. Number 10, passing out. A few people who have anxiety actually pass out. They start to feel lightheaded and the next minute they wake up on the floor, sometimes even hurting themselves in the process. Ouch. Number 11, overthinking. Overthinking is not fun at all. People with anxiety overthink anything and everything. You could be comfortable in bed, ready to go to sleep, when all of a sudden your mind starts replaying a conversation you had earlier on in the day. You start to think about what you said, how you said it, how did it come across to the other person. By the end of this, you've convinced yourself the person you had the conversation with now hates you and you did something or you said something terrible to them. The joys of overthinking. Number 12, being unable to talk on the phone. Some people's anxiety is so bad that they can't even answer the phone to talk to people, can't check out at the food counter, can't order food at a takeaway or a drive through Their anxiety is so bad that they have to ask others to do this for them. This can be extremely embarrassing sometimes, and sometimes it hurts too. Number 13, shaking. Shaking can be completely debilitating. Whenever some people start to feel their anxiety levels rising, they just start shaking uncontrollably. This is extremely scary and embarrassing at the same time to experience, especially if you're in public. Number 14, unexpected panic attacks. Panic attacks completely turn your world upside down. One minute, you're fine and you're happy. The next, you're having a panic attack trying to calm yourself down. Panic attacks can happen anywhere at any given moment. This is what makes them so scary to experience. Number 15, getting rashes. Some people with anxiety start to get really hot to the point their skin starts to become red and splotchy. This causes them to itch, which ultimately leads them to bleed. I can personally relate to the majority of those 15 embarrassing anxiety symptoms. I now want to hear from you guys and girls at home. Which of those embarrassing symptoms of anxiety can you relate to? And how do those symptoms affect your life? Let me and others know in the comment section down below and let's show others they are not alone in the world experiencing these embarrassing symptoms. If you need help with your anxiety, there's a link in the description box down below where you can speak to a mental health professional immediately to begin to get the help you need and deserve for your anxiety. The link is in the description box down below. If you've enjoyed this video, found it relatable, helpful and useful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, please consider joining our community here at Authentic Mental Health by hitting the subscribe button. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again in another video.